Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Pretty mild conditions out there this evening under clear to partly cloudy skies. We're still seeing temperatures in the 60s in quite a few areas. And again, skies look like this, looking pretty good. Let's take you down toward Bryan and College Station. Our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It's on the Galleria Village office building in Bryan and looking pretty good. That is Texas A&M University in the background there. Uh, skies are mainly clear. It is 63 degrees here in Waco, 64 right now in College Station, 63 Codwell. You can see temperatures from Temple over toward Colleen in the lower 60s. Current temperature on Brownwood right at 61 degrees. Our satellite loop shows partly cloudy conditions on top of us right now, but a few more clouds just off to the west. San Angelo, uh, not far away from uh, uh, basically uh, New Mexico, if you will, and that's all traveling back off to the east. So eventually, I think by tomorrow morning, we may be waking up to uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies to start the day here across the region. So let's uh, take you hour by hour here with our future cast at midnight tonight. Again, clear to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 50s. It looks like overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, we'll see a few more clouds rolling in. So again, depending on where you're going to be, partly to mostly cloudy skies, it's going to keep temperatures up. We're not looking at temperatures in the 40s tomorrow morning or the 30s. We should be in the 50s. So a little bit warmer start to the day. About 54 degrees or so here in Waco, 56 down toward the uh, Colleen area. By mid morning, we start to see a little bit of break in the action. So, mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies. There's that mix of sun and clouds. And as we hit the afternoon, generally speaking, with a front beginning to move across our area, we'll see some winds change back to the north and to the west at about 20 to 25. So, a little breezy in the afternoon. And I think any shower activity tomorrow will be out ahead of the front. And that will be uh, to our southeast. Moving through East Texas and eventually over toward Louisiana. Now the floodgates are open for that Arctic air to move in, as well as the strong north to northwest winds kicking in. Now, this is at 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Remember how I showed you it's going to be in the 50s tomorrow morning? Look at Thursday morning. 20s, so much, much colder. You're going to need that heavy coat on Thursday. We're talking about temperatures low to middle 20s to start the day on Thursday. Then you factor in any wind. That'll put those wind chills in the teens. So definitely uh, it's going to have a big time bite to, if, you, uh, if you're outside and you don't have the, the proper gear on. We're talking layers. As we go throughout the day on Thursday, kind of a lot of clouds out there. There could be a shower or two, but right now the last few computer model runs are taking it farther and farther to the south. So I'm going to keep it dry for the most part. Waco, Colleen, and Temple, but down toward College Station, Brandon, let's say the Brazos Valley. Still about a 20% chance of maybe a cold sprinkle or a snowflake or two mixed in with that. That is with that colder air moving in. And again, this is at 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, mid to upper 30s. That is it. We may touch 40 for just a little bit in the afternoon, but temperatures well below normal as we hit the day on Thursday. So be ready. You've been warned, right? Partly cloudy skies tonight, breezy conditions, 55 degrees will be the low. Winds out of the south at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then a mix of sun and clouds. I'm going to go 74 right before the front begins to move through our area. The front moves a little bit faster. Obviously, that temperature will be a little bit cooler if it takes its time. Well, that 74 should be right on the money, right? Uh, winds will turn in the afternoon northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's the long range 10 day forecast. Front moves through. And then look at the temperatures. At 40 degrees on Thursday, like I said, that might be pushing it. We're going to be in the 30s for most of the day, but look at those low temperatures. Thursday night, Friday night, we're talking low 20s with those wind chills in the teens. The weekend looks sunny, but it's going to be cold. 52 on Saturday, 57 on Sunday. Our next front moves in. You can see Tuesday there cools us down a little bit into the 50s. Nighttime lows will be in the 30s. And as for Bryan and College Station, looks like we're going to see another mild day tomorrow. Then the front moves through. Cooler weather for sure. Looks like Thursday and Friday we're going to be talking 40s, 50s over the weekend, a little rain possible on Monday, and slightly warmer weather next week. But uh, tomorrow, guys, we're going to see temperatures in the 70s.